In this video, we'll dig into Spark Page. I'm also going to insert the video I created in my previous tutorial into this page. Additionally, I have another graphic I created in post and we'll be using that as well. I'm doing this to show you that all parts of Spark can actually work together. Be sure to check out my completed Spark page by clicking on the link in the course content. Once again, to get started, we'll click on our blue plus button at the top. This time when we click the drop down, we will select web page. As soon as the workspace loads, I can get started. I'll go ahead and add a title and a subtitle. Just as with video and post, Spark helps us use free images. So if I click on the plus and then on photo and find free photos, here's one that I really love. Now all I need to do to continue building my page is scroll down and then I'm presented with options for my Spark page. I can add photos, text, buttons, video, photo grids, a glide show, and a split layout. First I'll add some text. I can type my text directly into page but I went ahead and typed my content out into a Word document beforehand so I could just copy and paste it into my page. So let me grab some of this text real quick. I'll just come back and paste it in here. And then I do have some additional formatting options if I wanted to make use of them. I'll click on the plus beneath to keep going. Next, I'll add a split layout. On one side, I have to add an image, and then on the other side, I can do a photo, text, button, or video. For my image, we'll use that other image that I created in post. I downloaded this image onto my computer so that I could easily upload it. This was created in Spark Post with nothing but icons and text. Let me go grab some more text to add to my split layout. I actually want this to be a header and I'll go ahead and center that. The header as well. And just a bit more text. Now I could click on these arrows in the middle and swap the size of my layout. If I click on the image, I could replace it. If I decide I no longer want to use this, I can just click somewhere on the text side and delete my split layout. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the Spark video that we created earlier. Here, I need either the link to my Spark video, or perhaps there's a YouTube or Vimeo link that I'd like to make use of. I've already put my link to my Spark video in my Word document, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. I'll paste it in here, hit save. And here it is. One more thing I want to point out is bulleted lists. I have a bit of text here that should be three bullets. I will copy that. Now if I paste it into Spark without doing anything else, it's actually going to create a line break between each point. But if I tell Spark it's going to be a bulleted list, it will paste it as a bulleted list. Now there are some other options here that you have available, so I encourage you to check those out. The other thing we can select is a theme, which applies an overall look to the entire Spark page. You have a couple of options here as well. If you want to see what your Spark page looks like to those who have the link, you can hit the preview button at the top. X that out when you're done. You can also present your Spark page directly from Spark by clicking on Present. And last but not least, the familiar Share button, which again allows you to invite others to collaborate. You can print, which would be great for handout purposes, or you can publish, which allows you to create a link that you can then distribute, which hopefully you're familiar with by now. So that's your quick overview of page. Now you've learned about all three parts of Spark, and you also know that they can work together. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.